already a group of kids gathering for all of the activities planned to watch as it all gets underway. And of course, if you are watching the eclipse this afternoon, you'll need to be prepared and protected as well. Six year old Danielle Landaro may be too young to fully grasp the significance of today. The solo clip. But his older brother Jose and their mom lined up early at this camera store in Fairfield, New Jersey to get the protective eyewear they'll need so they'll be able to enjoy the historic eclipse together. And Jose has read up all about it. Well, because it's only going to be partial, it's probably going to look like a banana. The people first through the door getting here before 6 this morning paying $25 per pair. Amazon had um, was supposed to deliver on Saturday and said they couldn't deliver till Tuesday. So. So you were forced to come out here early in the morning? <laughs> forced bright and early. We pulled some strings to get them in, um, but we adjust the price based on what we pay. Um, in the last couple of shipments, we paid a lot. One place many families will be watching from, this location in Jersey City. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The Great American Eclipse here at Liberty Science Center. We expect at least 5,000 people, maybe 7,000 people. And we're also going to have live feeds here at Liberty Science Center from places like Tennessee and Kentucky, where it's going to be 100%. We have crafts for kids. We have telescopes with filters on them that any visitor can enjoy. And we have all sorts of sun activities. All day. Back at the camera store, even the Fairfield police chief is on hand. Yeah, I, they have plenty of glasses, but the point is if the time comes and there's a line and they're told there's no more, it could be a problem. For those who may be in transit during the peak of the eclipse, road signs warn drivers to be careful and to keep their headlights on. The chief says they'll be on the lookout for distracted drivers as well. So it's two minutes or so in length, so I'm sure that you'd be able to pull over, but not to kind of do it while you're driving. Now, as for the protective gear that she'll need to be wearing during the peak of the eclipse, you want to make sure that your glasses are ISO certified. We've gotten some reports that a number of glasses sold on the Jersey Shore at Jenkinson's Beach were not properly certified, so they are refunding customers. As for the folks here at Liberty Science Center, again, they have a lot of activities underway for the kids and families. They say that they are charging at the door regular admission into the center, and with that, you will receive a complimentary pair of these glasses.